Hi, this is Tablet Technologies and we're going to take a look at the NT8-BR an evolution of our smallest Windows 8 tablet, the NT8, with a few features added included barcode reading and also RFID into what must be the smallest Windows tablet with a barcode reader integrated. And when I say small, I really do mean small. Here is our regular NT8 and you'll see that it is only ever so slightly bigger. It's also only ever so slightly thicker and the overall package that we've put it in we're really satisfied with. We'll take a look around the outside in a moment. Dimensions are 236mm across by 131mm wide and about 13mm thick at the thinnest point and a little thicker where the barcode scanner is at the top and we'll come to that in a moment. So looking along the bottom edge we have a couple of fixing points left and right that we can screw in a hand strap into or use for mounting. These two points on the outside edge are for magnets to adhere to with the five pins in the middle for a docking connector. On the right edge of the device we have a single IP65 port cover which if we look behind there then we have two full-size USB ports and an HDMI output. On the top edge we have fixing points that mirror those on the bottom so that we've got four in total and the barcode scanning window which gives the only lump to the device at the back otherwise it is flat across the back. We have a few options for barcode scanner in here. This has currently got a Newland 2D barcode scanner which is a really good module and we'll show you the performance of that in a moment. On the back of the device we have a rear facing camera, speakers and the area printed on here is for RFID tag reading otherwise the back is completely plain. On the left of the device we have more port covers the first of which is hiding the SIM card slot and micro SD card port and the second is hiding DC in for charging and a headphone socket. So the front of the device has a power button at the top, a barcode trigger clearly labelled at the front there and physical buttons for F1, F2 and F3. These can be reprogrammed for customers on request however that is a BIOS flash as opposed to something that could be reconfigured in software on the device at this time but you have ultimately got three function keys that could be very useful for certain applications on the front there. So the device is running uh, Windows 8 only. Uh, Windows 7 isn't compatible with this device. It will be fully compatible with Windows 10 and that has been tested as of recording. So we're going to do a little test of some barcode scanning. There's 1D. If we take a 2D barcode, you can see it's pretty quick. As soon as we line up the laser there, and you see we get a center aiming dot, and you can get some pretty quick scanning results there. And that's scanning a QR code with a full V-card data on it. Let's switch back to 1D. Now the current RFID reader implementation is for high frequency cards and I have a, a high frequency card ready here and that's just implemented as a keyboard wedge so if I put that behind the device you see that we get a read there. So you see each time I'm touching the card there, that's giving another read of this tag starting 249. Thanks for watching. For more information and pricing, head to tablettechnologies.com.